Hey everyone, it's DJ032 back again, and it's time for another boxing. No, just kidding. This is empty. This is actually 366 days of cards, and I've got a deck review for you and a tutorial. So let's get right down to it. These are the hopefully soon to be printed new Key West Resort and Casino playing cards, as you can see, and then two colors. So you to get the front of the box, it says on this ribbon, Imperial Linen. Then it has the, the name, Key West Resort and Casino. And then, playing cards, poker size, jumbo index, Casino Diamondback, and made in the USA. And then you get these nice palm trees here at the logo, a Diamondback design. And you get palm trees in all four corners. And, you can see it opens from the front of the box, which is a little bit different. On one side, it says Key West Resort and Casino with palm trees. The other side, the exact same thing. The top, yeah, if you can see it says Made in the USA by Liberty Playing Card Company, not the USPC. And the bottom, it says Casino Diamondback, copyright 2012 J5 design. And in the back, it looks just like a casino deck. It's got the date used information box thing and then the logo Key West Resort and Casino with the palm trees and the diamond back design open it up there's nothing on the flaps and to my understanding what it was is uh, somebody designed poker chips for this Key West Resort and Casino which is actually not a real casino but they designed poker chips so that people could buy poker chips to play poker that actually look like real poker chips and then this guy Dennis decided to buy it. This Key West decided to buy that company, I guess. And then what he did is he decided why not make some decks of cards that look like casino cards to match the poker chips. Very good idea. Inside, you do get a card with the both uh, best poker hands, according to rank, and how to play Texas Hold'em. The back design is just like regular casino cards basically. It's diamond back, like a B deck of cards and also I think like Tamako and other similar casino decks. And it's got the logo Key West Resort Casino. Again, it's not a real casino. Don't go out there looking for it, you're not gonna find it. <laughs> and it's pretty nice, it's borderless, full bleed, just like B's. It is jumbo index. Nothing too fancy there. Although, uh, they, uh, I do think that everything is nice and clear and easy to see. Court cards, again, jumbo index, fairly standard. You did get four jokers. Two that look like this, there's Liberty on top. Joker on the bottom in red with red stars and this Jester guy dancing. And then a couple other ones that are basically the same thing. Here we get, uh, there's your Ace of Diamonds. Let's quickly go through this. <clears throat> the Ace of Spades says Key West Resort and Casino. Has a nice spade book with some palm trees in it. I think that's really nice. I mean, it's not fancy like some of the other ones that we see, but it, it's not meant to be. Here are the other jokers. I think, yeah, this is the other ones. The same thing, except they got black stars, and Joker is in black as well. Instead of red, and you get two of each, so four jokers, which is could be very useful for magic tricks and here we see the other joker and then there's one more in there <clears throat> overall it's a pretty nice deck of cards and then here's the ace of hearts and the ace of clubs is right there, uh, nice big aces it's a pretty nice deck of cards They handle pretty nice. They don't really fan all that great. But that's okay. They're not made they're not specifically designed for fanning or for for, for or for you know forcing or anything like that or magic. They're designed for playing cards. They do however spread really nice, as you can probably see. 
in comparison to how they in comparison to how they found it actually spread really nice on the back design I think I saw that there already but we'll have another look the, the cards got an interesting background somebody was asking where you can get them you can't buy them the only way you can get these is if you go to kickstarter.com and help them get funded if they don't make enough money they're not going to get printed and you're not going to be able to get these and we'll post the link below the way you can find them and then like i said there's, there's actually two colors is that dark almost marine red and then there's this a lighter blue and the card's getting stuck in the box for some reason which looks like this it's pretty nice yeah not too too bad but they got a nice thick stock this deck is easily thicker than any USB-C deck <clears throat> and like I said it's got basically an Eric Christian Finis linen Finis or whatever it said on the box Imperial linen and yeah it handles, it's pretty nice if you want something that's durable that you can use for playing cards or for practicing magic or even performing magic especially impromptu magic then this is a nice deck to have speaking of which let's do a tutorial on the trick that I did yesterday called world class And not only for this trick, we would get rid of the jokers, but we won't do it. So, world class is an out of this world variation, uh, variation of out of this world card trick. What you're going to do is you're going to need 10 red cards and 10 black cards, and you just go free the deck while the, with the cards, you know, facing away from the spectator, and secretly pull these out. Now, what I do is I will pull out nine cards, of one color. So for instance, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red cards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mix up a little bit, doesn't really matter. You know, set them down. Obviously, the spectators don't know. And then you're gonna take out ten black cards, and I use this number cards instead of throwing in court cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now you've got nine red cards on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black cards. And then you're gonna pull out one more red card to put on top of the black cards. That's what's in twenty cards, and they're basically all set up. You got red cards or black cards whatever you want nine of them and then ten of the opposite color and then one more of the first color then what you do is give it to the spectator what i did is i did a false cut of some kind you can do whatever you want just make sure they stay in order and if you want you can take out ten red cards and ten uh, if you want, you can't take out 10 red cards and 10 black cards. You know what you do is basically double undercut one card from the bottom to the top. Oops, that didn't work out so good. <laughs> I ended up with one card on the bottom. So basically, you would. I would pinky pull down the cards. And voila, the red card comes to the top. That's an alternative. You can, like, I think it's easier just to set it up, but what it is a pinky pull down, swing cut, drop this on top. I have a break underneath the bottom card, or above the bottom card, and I drop that on there. And then secretly just cut it, and instantly that card is on top. But that's basically what you want is nine one color, ten the other, and then the last one. 
So we get the cards to the spectator. They do everything. They flip over the top card, put it to the bottom face up. Take the next one, set it on the table, face up. Now they're gonna set cards down. If they think it's a red card, they put it on the bottom. If they think it's a black card, they put it on the table. And they just do that. And what you do is you count eight. So you got four, five, six, seven, eight cards. When they get to that, you have them stop. They take the top card again, flip it up. It's gonna be a black card. They put that face up on the bottom. And then the next card, and it's a red card. And you set it down. And now what you do is the same thing. And they can just go through the cards. And then once you get to the face-up card, you stop and you just get them to put this on the bottom as well. And basically that's it. Then you have them, basically you show them that we got all the math cards, red cards, black cards, and red cards. It just works out. It's pretty much self-working. It's pretty easy. It is just a variation of Out of This World, which I'm sure most of you have seen or heard. It's very simple and it's impromptu. Tomorrow I will probably do another card trick. Also, a reminder if you have not submitted your entry into the beginner's contest, it ends on Sunday at midnight <coughs> or realistically around 6 or 7 a.m. Monday morning because that's when I will be checking any messages. And if it's not in by that time, it's too late. And that is my time, 6 or 7 a.m. my time, Central Time, North America. And for those of you who are involved in the advanced contest, where the heck are you? I've been waiting for entries. I've gotten one or two entries in the past couple weeks. Your time is running out as well. You've only got just over a week left because one week from Sunday, is the end of the second round for the advanced contest. So make sure you get your entries in for that as well. And stop slacking. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got. Before the camera stops recording again, I will just remind you again, go to kickstarter.com, check out this deck, it's a pretty nice deck, it's not USB-C. And also check out the other decks, there's about 10 different decks right now, from a bunch of different companies, Circle City Cards, has some on there, 4 p.m. design, which did the bicycle eclipse, has one on one on there, I believe. Oh, so yeah, the 4 p.m. design did the, um, the other one. <laughs> I forget what it's called. There's nothing from Hidden Mirrors. The Hidden Mirrors is the one that did the bicycle eclipse, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. New Compass Tech, which is from, and you know, there's a whole bunch on there. There's the Compass, which just started yesterday. It's from a guy who's sponsoring me, Kane Magic. And a whole bunch of others. So make sure you go check them out. Some of them are funded or will be funded. Others need your help, like this one. So make sure you go check them out. Kickstarter.com, search for playing cards. You'll find them all. That's what I've got. I'll see you next time. Oh yes, and before I go, just a quick thank you again to Dennis for sending me these decks for review. Hopefully, my review will inspire some people to go and check out the Kickstarter page and get them funded. And that is what I've got. I'll see ya.